What are you taking amoxicillin for? <laughs> How great is this? You're, you're already comfortable enough to, to look through my stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry, Michelle. This is my roommate, Rachel. Hi, and I'm also Emma's mother. Oh, uh, who's Emma? Oh, I, I, I told you about my daughter. This is your daughter? <laughs> See, I could be your new mommy. <laughs> Ross, you didn't tell me you were a doctor. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You haven't even told her that you are a doctor yet? How long have you known her? Like an hour? Actually, about an hour and a half. <laughs> I, I told you it wasn't long, but uh, there's an amazing connection between us. You feel that too? Oh, I thought that that was just me. <laughs> are, are you kidding? <laughs> um, hey, do you want to go away this weekend? We'll see. <laughs> okay, Ross, what's going on here? Are we just bringing strange women back to the apartment now? I don't know. Are we just kissing guys on balconies? What? How do you know about that? Through the magic of sight. <laughs> I was here putting our child to sleep. Emma. <laughs> when I happened to look through the window and see you kissing a guy you've known for what, a week? Oh, God, is that what this is all about? Did you bring her up here to get back at me? No, actually, see, I had to pee because I can't use public bathrooms because of the duty parasites. OK, Michelle, <laughs> uh, it's time to go. Well, call me. <laughs> OK. No, wait, you don't have my phone number. Um, you know what? If it's meant to be, I'll guess it. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Score. I'm sorry, did you not like her? Because I was hoping maybe we could come to one of your kissing parties on the balcony. Oh, God, you know what? I can't believe you're making such a big deal about this. It was one kiss, one guy, one time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. What about the guy from the bar? What, who? The guy you gave your number to. How do you know about that? Because he called here looking for you. So don't tell me this, this kissing this guy from work is a one-time thing, OK? Because you've been out there in, in bars and on balconies for over a month now, and you don't even have the courtesy to tell me. Why didn't I get that message? What? From the guy in the bar. Why didn't I get that message? Because I folded it up and put it in my pants pocket. Do you, do you not look there? <laughs> Ross. I never gave it to you. Why? I don't, I don't know. Oh, God, you know what? I don't... Who do you think you are? Who are you to decide what messages I should or should not get? Who am I? Yes! I'm the guy who's taking care of our baby while you're out at bars meeting guys. Oh, my God, I cannot believe you. You know, I actually came in here hoping to have a mature conversation with you about us. But I can't do that with someone who, who hides my messages and brings crazy women back to my apartment. Hey, none of the sane ones wanted to come back with me. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not the point, OK? The point is, you, you are the one who moved on and didn't tell anyone. Oh God, Ross, this is just so messed up. <sighs> what is wrong with us? You know, when people hear about our situation, they always ask, what, you, you live together, but you're not a couple, and yet you have a baby? Isn't that weird? And I say, no, you know what? It's not, because it works for us. But you know what? This doesn't work. In fact, this is the, the opposite of working. Uh, clearly. And you know, we said that we would, we would live together as long as this makes sense. And maybe this, you know, just doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah, maybe not. So what do you want to do? Hey. Hi. Can Emma and I live here for a while? God, uh... Of course. Uh, your eyebrows look weird. 